Hi guys, my name is Kenneth Aniban. I'm 22 years old, proudly representing Cavite City. Alien, ano yung bago mong ipapakita ngayon as parang ba- second time to join yeah. a national third. party? Third. A third actually, time to join uh, a national party. So the one thing that I'm going to perform on stage is being in my walk. So I do uh, practice every day on what I'm going to do with the walk. I got many uh, things prepared for my pasarela or runway walk. So I'm going to do something new about that one. So I just want to be as confident as possible when uh, in the national stage uh, on the 23rd or in the 28th. Tama ba Cavite yung na-represent po dati? No, Sabi Manila. ko na! Yeah. <laughs> it's Tondo Manila. Bakit? Ba't nagbago? <laughs> the first reason is, there's already a representative for uh, Manila. Two representatives actually, which is Santa Mesa Manila and Manila, which is just Tony and Ralph. So, the second thing that I want to represent is, which is my hometown, back in Doha, Qatar, which is I'm going to represent Philcom of Doha, Qatar, but for me, I thought about it, I told myself, nah, it's too far. So what's the next thing that I could represent, which is my family, which is on the, on the Cavite side. So that's why I chose Cavite, because I dictate my performance to them. And hopefully, my performance will lead to a title or a crown. And I'll hope and pray for that. How do you see your yung parang pinaka-competition ngayon na ang dami nyo? Yeah, so we got 55 po, so sobrang dami niya but I truly believe na madami mapapakitang bago ngayon kasi I think ito lang ata yung budget na mad- pinaka-madami candidates if I'm correct, 55 actually so sa tingin ko madami mabibigay ng opportunity na mapakita talaga tal- talaga nila yung talagang ano nila, performance-wise nila so hopefully uh, up to 55, ma crown na ko dun sa last eight. So, yun talaga yung... Eight titles eight naman. Titles. Okay, yes. So, yun talaga Kaya... yung plan ako na magawa. Pero, anong, which, of course, we all buy for the Mr. Yeah. International, but which title do you consider the second best? I got two in my mind. So, first is, which is Michael Verse title, which is Mr. National Universe. So, that's the second. The first one that I want to... Uh, get aside from the MI. The, the, the second one is the newly acquired, which is Mr. Charm. So that's the one thing that I want to get since it was hyped up in the Miss Universe platform, which was one I think Miss by Krishna. Krishna, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, Krishna, yeah. So I think uh, me and her together will uh, be a great tandem to represent Philippines if ever given a chance. Pero pag ganyan ba na maraming titles, siyempre different titles, different requirements, uh-huh. different expectations from the candidate. Yeah. So, may ang preparation mo ba for a certain title or parang overall na to? Bahala na kung anong ibibigay na title. Sa akin for me kasi, may kasabihan ako sa sarili. Kung kasali ka talaga, why not aim for the highest one? Kasi kung kasali ka lang to just to, to get one of the titles, then you're just planning for second place. For me, I have a one my mindset of a winner na. Uh, even though I lose or even though na mag-fail ako sa goal ko, I still did my best kasi yun yung mindset ko na. Pagdating ng budget, yung pinaka-biggest title yung talaga mong makuha. Kasi if your mindset is like that, then surely enough, you got seven mm. tries to get it, diba? So just do your best, just uh, yun lang talaga ginagawa ko, just focus on myself and just give the purity as a candidate. Kasi marami na sinasabi na naririnig ko na may mga prototype candidates. Mga yeah. So I don't want to be like that. I just want to showcase uh, who Kenneth Anibas is, who Kenneth Anibas is, and who is Mr. Cavite Sewi. So, Come finals na talaga, I hope na marami support ako, so marami din uh, maging bagong supporters when uh, I finish my journey here and I might finish. And last na lang, kasi parang you're, you're somehow considered a front runner, uh, and it's because of yung uh, eloquence <laughs> when, when it comes to your speaking skills Thank and all. Yan, yan. Pero, yun na nga, gano'n ka nakakadagdag sa pressure yung gano'n? I'm sure you're aware, <laughs> di ba? Yeah. I'm sure, nari- at ngayon, pinarinig ko na sa'yo, yeah. di ba? Yeah, um, malakas, <laughs> malaking pressure yan sa akin kasi coming from the, the first national stage then na-pressure din ako and I didn't know how to handle that. So, from etong second or third time ko na nararamdam ko siya, parang it feels nostalgic na siya, like, ah, ito na naman tayo. So, you just enjoy it. Just, uh, what you call this one? Just, uh, don't 
uh, ang tawag dun, yung don't take it for granted yung baga. Kasi if you take it for granted, you will not enjoy it. Eh. Kasi for me, I do enjoy being a front runner. I do really support it. Talaga nakakatapa ng puso and also gives me motivation. Kasi some people, they crack under pressure. But for me, I always believe that I'm a diamond. Kasi diamond are born under pressure. Tara! So yun yung aking kasabihan. And I hope talaga, come finals night. Uh, even though that there are a lot of pressure, even though there are 55 or 54 candidates uh, try, uh, trying for the Mr. International stage, I do believe that I'm in three words, which is Mr. International Philippines. I say, please invite everyone to support you in your journey. So, ayun guys, I really do want you to watch our preliminary competition, which is on the 23rd in Tugigarao City at the Grand Coliseum, and also the finals night here in Newport World's Resorts Manila. And also, follow me on my social media platforms, which is at Kenneth Aniban on all three, which is Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. And lastly, please do follow our brothers, not just me. So hopefully, we can give you a great show. So hope to see you guys. Thank you. Congrats.